so my brother left. I didn't see them leave. My mother left. I didn't know where they were. I didn't know where I was going. I knew where I was going to the Gestapo, but I, that's, that was it. And uh, when I got there, I, they knew who I was. And of course, they, thank God, did not look for the others. And during the night, I heard later that, they, that somebody came to pick up my sister. To hide her. Did your mother and brother leave to go to their hiding places? Mm -hmm. And you had no but idea where they were going? I, no. No, that's why I, I've always felt like I had, um, I, I just don't know, you know, it's, it's immaterial because I, I couldn't do it anyhow. I couldn't help them more than what I did by going. And so we ended up uh, at the uh, cattle wagons at the, rail at the railroad station and got just bunched up in there. And next thing we knew, it was uh, Katset. It was the uh, concentration camp. Can you tell me a little bit more about the journey uh, in, the, in the train? There wasn't much room left because the more they could push into these cattle, there was no, no toilet, there was no nothing. And it took a, f a couple of days to get there. And one was just on top of the other, basically. Did you have anything to eat or drink during this time? No. No. Were you with anybody that you knew? Some, not many, because all of our immediate friends that were left did the same thing as the rest, as the rest of my family. And they all knew who went from Munich, but they also didn't know exactly where we had, where they had taken us. That didn't come out until after the Americans came into Munich. So when you were boarding the train to go to the concentration camp, did you have any idea? Where? No. 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 What did you think and what were the people in the train saying about where you were going to go, what was going to happen to you? Nobody knew. Nobody knew. I mean, you're just being taken, and that's it. That, that was all there was to it. Um, until we got there, and we didn't get shot at, and we didn't, you know, we got there, and of course we were hungry. But that was all immaterial at the point, because you just keep on going. You do what you're told. You had no other choice. What camp did they take you to? I went to Theresienstadt. Can you spell that for me? To who? Hmm. Uh, here they call it Terrasin. I think maybe this would be an easier spelling, not just for me, but for somebody else too, because that's what they really call it. It, it was in Czechoslovakia. It's T E R E. Z I N Stadt S T A D T. When you first arrived at Theresienstadt, what did you see when the doors of the train opened? There were, well, that was a little bit on the outside, and then we had to march to get inside. And uh, we were told where. To where to go, or they took us, like barracks, and there were like double, triple beds made out of wood, just sticks of wood, and there was uh, like a 
it wasn't a mattress. It was just, it, I wouldn't even say it was soft. It, it, it was just laying there on the boards. And you basically didn't have anything to, to cover yourself with.